Doesn't really feel like the sunny southeast uh, this morning, but it's uh, Wexford and Watford beside me here. Ian Morris, uh, Watford's new manager. Um, you have to say it was a fairly short off season because there was so much crack about managerial movements, and all of a sudden we're here. Yeah, um, I only took the job Christmas week as well, so it was literally straight in, players signed, and and into pre-season fairly quickly. So there's been there's been no time to uh, to sit back and relax. Yeah, uh, is it fair to say that Watford coming back into the first division wasn't exactly welcomed by Galway fans like me and maybe Wexford fans? Was adding a bit of spice to it? Yeah, no, yeah, they certainly add to it. Um, great squad that they have there, and they've got the the master of the first division with them now. So it's basically one. It's over now already. Not even sure I introduce you there, of course, Ian Ryan. You don't need any introduction at this stage after last season. <laughs> no, I definitely need the introduction. Yeah, uh, but yeah, last season went okay. Um, hoping to improve on that. We got, got a good squad together, so. Um, Look and see where it goes. I've been saying this for a while, Ian Morris, uh, but the first division is where it's at this season. There's going to be some really good games. Yeah, it's it's strong. You can see by the squads, the, the managers, um, everything is geared up to be a really, really exciting division. And I think everyone's looking at pre-season, and, and I don't think you can take too much out of it. Once, once the lights are on and the league starts, it'll be a different uh, ball game altogether. So it's uh, it's going to be exciting. I think we're counting down the days now till next Friday. I know the season ended badly for Watford, but the crowds that were back in the RC last season, you must be looking forward to that. Absolutely, and we, we even seen it in our pre-season games, both home and away. We've had massive travel and support away, and, and then the RSC is filling up as well. So we're hoping when we uh, welcome Bray on the, the 25th that, that we'll have a packed house. And a lot of people uh, suggesting that Wexford will be dark horses, uh, possibly even to challenge for the championship this season. Could that be uh, a little bit avaricious, or what are you thinking? Yeah, it might be a little ambitious, but yeah, listen, we're no different than everyone else. Uh, the pre-season gives you hope, and uh, you always have that hope, and we've improved the squad. We're looking to challenge up around the top end. If we can get into the playoffs, uh, we'd be delighted. Yeah, and uh, a lot of chat about young managers in the Premier Division, two young managers in the first division beside me as well, some wily old foxes like John Caulfield and Pat Devlin. It's going to be a bit of spice to the sidelines, I think, this year. There is, it'll be lively, yeah. But it's, it's, everyone just wants to win for their, their club and uh, everyone has that ambition. And I think everyone, when you look at the investment and the quality of the squads within the division, I think everyone will have an eye on uh, competing really at the top end. So it's going to be really, really exciting. Um, I can't wait to get going. Yeah, we have to move the first division lads on so the Premier Division lads can come in, obviously, later on. But uh, all joking aside, um, what's it like being here and not being part of Shells because it was such a part of your life for the last while? Yeah, it's look, I had a bit of time to adjust um, before going into Waterford, so it was, a, it was a good time for me to reflect and to to recharge slightly as much as you can um, and get straight back into it. But as soon as you're in, your, your mindset just changes and, and you get ready to go again. So. Um, everything down in Waterford is geared up, the, the facilities, the players, the squad, the staff, everyone around the club is excited for this year and hopefully we can put things right. What is your aspiration? I want to get up, I want to get promoted. Yeah, and I guess that's yours as well. Yeah, absolutely, that's what we're there for, we want to compete. Um, probably a more realistic route to us would probably be you know, challenge through the playoffs route and uh, we see where that goes and you know, you look at the likes of Treaty last year that, you know, give us uh, inspiration to go and do what they did and uh, even U C D to go up um, you know, as the first division team against a good Premier Division side, um, you know, it gives people hope and uh, that's what we'll aim for. And big trips ahead as well to the likes of Galway to Aim and East Park to Turner's Cross, big crowds expected, big uh, sales and season tickets, first and Premier Division this season. Yeah, it's fantastic to see. There's there's real momentum behind the league, and and when the atmospheres are, when when the crowds are up and the atmosphere is electric, it drives the game on. I think the tempo and the quality starts to lift as well. So it all goes hand in hand, and it's uh, it's gearing up to be really good. Who wins the Premier Division? Oh, say Rovers, but I think Derry will be will be knocking on the door. We presume you mean Shamrock Rovers. Shamrock Rovers. You? Shamrock Rovers. With Derry knocking on the door, Ian Morris. Ian Morris and Ian Ryan here at the SC Tristy launch this morning. It's nice to see Ryan wearing this confirmation jumper as well. Yeah, it's, you wouldn't want to get it dirty, would you? No, it's a bad choice. I the way. Don't worry, lads. I wouldn't eat that stuff anyway. Pepperoni on the way for Ian Ryan.